And it must be very strange coming to South Africa for the first time, turning on the radio and hearing so much American music. I'm wondering where the South African voices are. Voices are. Voices are. Voices are. Voices are. Voices are. Than South Africans. Is there a bigger picture? Is there an infrastructure that makes it possible for so much US cultural production to flood our markets? The answer to that is yes. Uh, when you look at us, what do you see? Is it proud children of Africa or byproduct of America? Because we've been brought up by the culture. What we taught to say, nigga, motherfucker. Huh. Or we just sounded like some foreigners. And now our elders judge us, they question, and they wonder Nationality, but when your story like mine, a complexity lived in six countries by the age of 23. In hip hop, I can find an identity, but as an artist, I be trying to be original, and that means I gotta forget everything I know. But it is scary when you cannot tell the difference between your conditioning and who you really are. I have to ask. see a situation where four holding companies dominate close to 80% of the global market share. But you only know what you're exposed to. Kids learn more from their TVs than they do in their own schools. So I guess that they homeschool. There's a lot to be said for repetition So you know I got to say it again They know more about their rappers than their politicians They know more about the gossip than the situation Up on their location and on their own station They barely get to hear the voices of their own nation It ain't no accident that 70% of content in the media is American Think again Careful who you point the finger to Cause to be critical can be hypocritical this affects us all, so this is you that I send this to. that places people before profits. Before profits.